Hello, everyone. This is James Nussbaumer, and welcome to another episode of Everyday Miracles Moment on video. And today I want to discuss about searching within yourself through mindfulness, mindfulness meditation. I'm getting a lot of emails <clears throat> from my subscribers and uh, other uh, messages at my website on can you expand a little more on what actually is mindfulness meditation and what is the right way or am I doing things wrong? Well, let's talk about searching within yourself through mindfulness techniques. It's constantly <clears throat> always best to keep you know, browsing, browsing around and searching on the net or, or, or to some of your, your favorite the icons out there that, that know how to tap into genuine consciousness and see what they're doing. Because that's what meditation is all about, is learning how to understand and realize your real consciousness. You know, at various times throughout your day or throughout your week, advise yourself, talk to yourself a little bit about how you're able to hear God's voice. There's no right or wrong way in how you hear God's voice speaking to you without disrupting your routine activities throughout the day. You know, you can always take a minute or two. For example, I just got home from the gym, from the YMCA's where I go to uh, work out right now. And I, I mention that really because maybe in retrospect to where you're at now or where you're coming home from and as you're watching this, you, of course, you're not watching it at the same time that I'm viewing this. So, you know, you can kind of, you know, look at these, well, you just got home from the gym and maybe I just came home for the, you came home from the grocery store or whatever. Well, I like to take about seven minutes and sit back and reflect on what is really bothering me and, and, and what I can do. And I'm gonna expand on that in a second. But the other kind of meditation techniques that are available, and there's many, 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 according to the degree of, of concentration that you wanna put in, in, and how foreign thoughts are handled within you. In other words, how deep do you wanna get in to discuss within yourself all those strange thoughts that are going on that you really think maybe you need to unload and get rid of or release? I think you know what I mean there, but, but some, by some strategies about meditation, the goal is to focus so extremely that no foreign thoughts take place at all while you're in meditation in other techniques the concentration is more relaxed so that foreign thoughts easily pop up what i mean is when these foreign ideas are discovered during meditation one one stop the you know these once you stop the meditation process something carries on with you throughout the day to where you feel that you've gotten the answer to what you're searching for remember there's no there's no right or wrong way to meditate so therefore try to keep seeking how to tap into your real consciousness by doing things like why you're listening why are you listening to me right now in this video obviously you landed here because you you want to dig further into this so again i say at particular times throughout your day throughout your week Make a little kind of a schedule for yourself. Uh, advise yourself that you are able to hear God's voice. And like I said, often I like to do that when I get home from the gym. I shower, relax, and I get in my favorite position. And I just take seven minutes, seven minutes. And that's all it is. For example, I will use a set of words that I've borrowed from A Course in Miracles. And I use the seven-minute mindfulness med meditation technique. And it goes like this. I just say these words. And, 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 and with nothing bothering me, no outside interference coming through me. And the words go like this. I, I will that there be light to fade away the darkness of the problem I'm having right now. I'm having this problem and I will listen for the quiet answer. That's it. Nothing more than that. I'll repeat that. And by the way, you can find uh, more on, on different uh, uh, words and things that I use at my website in meditation, but I'll repeat that in case you wanna jot it down. I will say, I will that there be light to fade away the darkness of the problem I'm experiencing right now. The problem I'm having at this time, I will listen for the quiet answer. And you know, I let it go then, the seven minutes is up, I get into a breathing technique. I feel so relaxed and I move on with my day. 
And sure enough, throughout the day, bingo, something rings in my mind. There's the answer I'm looking for. May not be that day. It may take a few other days, a few, few more days, but you know what I mean. So yes, hear this, hear and listen to the spirit of God giving you the quiet answer without disrupting your routine activities in any way throughout your day. I also recommend, which is at my website, that you seek out uh, other articles that I've written. For example, I, I recommend other articles such as yoga and different other types of meditation for uh, helping people of all walks of life. Uh, you know, we, we uh, to have peace of mind in daily life. We seem to think we're in the West here that meditation is only for, you know, the people in the Eastern societies, the Far East. But no, it's uh, meditation is gaining popularity throughout the West. And I'm just set with meditation. I, I can't go a single day without meditation. So I hope you've enjoyed this. And by the way, I hope you're thinking a lot about your own life, like I always like to say, and you're thinking about and, and, and realizing the natural beauty that you are all about, and that the quiet answer is there for you if you'll listen to how to, to bring forth that beauty within you more to where that, that beauty within you overtakes the problems that are occurring in everyday life. Until next time, I wish the best for you. God bless.